Everyone, tragic and heartbreaking is how Onondaga County Sheriff Gene Conway describes what happened inside the home of one of his deputies. The sheriff says Isaac Eames shot his son, his wife, their dog, and then turned the gun on himself. His wife, Karen Eames, a secretary for the Liverpool School District, the only one who survived, and she's doing better tonight. News Channel Lines' Madison Moore tells us Karen's receiving an outpouring of support now. Just over 36 hours after the shooting, and Karen Eames is still in the hospital here at Upstate Medical University, but she is improving. A hospital spokesperson tells us that she is now listed in serious condition. Karen's sister is also speaking out on Facebook, thanking everyone for the outpouring of support, adding that she is still in the ICU on a ventilator. She is expected to have surgery in the coming days. Two more ambulance start at three down. They are still not done clear in the house yet, though. As crews rushed to the home, they had no idea the person who made the 911 call was Karen. She was wounded, calling for help. When deputies did arrive, they saw her through a window, forcing their way in. She wasn't moving. On entering into the residence, uh, they discovered Karen Eames, along with Troy Eames, and, uh, and Isaac Eames as well, all in the residence. Their first action was to attend to Karen Eames as she was conscious and breathing but was bleeding. Uh, they applied a tourniquet uh, to help control that bleeding and then made a further assessment of whoever else was in, in the home, uh, coming to realize that it was just the three of them. A duty weapon, a personal handgun, and long gun were all recovered from the home and taken into evidence. Another glimmer of hope and encouragement from the Facebook post, Karen is writing on paper and concerned for her other son, Andrew, who wasn't there when the shots were fired. If you are interested in helping out the family, they are asking for restaurant gift cards for Andrew. We have the mailing address for where to send those gift cards posted to localsyr.com. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. Deputy Isaac Eames worked for the sheriff's office as a civil deputy since 2010, responsible for the sheriff's grants program. And we asked Sheriff Conway if they are any closer to learning why this tragedy happened. Why is always a big question in situations like this or in investigations like this. Uh, that's why we are putting all of our resources into uh, trying to look in every direction possible to try to get some of, answer, of those answers to the questions. Um, thankfully, Karen Eames is uh, beginning to recover. We hope to be able to talk to her uh, very soon. However, obviously, her medical condition is what's paramount at the moment. Uh, but we're hopeful that she'll be able to certainly add to the investigation. If you'd like to listen to our and watch our full conversation with Sheriff Conway, head to the interview section of localsyr.com. You find that under the local news tab. And to learn more about a GoFundMe established for the Eames family already in just three hours, halfway to its $50,000 goal, check out our story on the News Channel 9 app.